Hello everybody, this is Rocket Rick J 18 and today I'm going to talk to you about some items that I won in an auction of some of the basement collection items, which was uh, handled by uh, uh, Mike Moriarty, yeah, Mike Moriarty, Mike Moynihan, and uh, uh, Garrett Unruh, uh, card cutter. And so the first thing that I have to show you is uh, some postcards. And I'm going to turn the camera on so that you can see the, these are, are Rob Parker cartoons that he drew back in the mid-1970s um, and uh, really are uh, quite attractive, very, very astonishingly so, I would say. And so uh, here's uh, Lou Gehrig um, and uh, Larry Koff uh, in, in uh, color. Uh, uh, drawings, and then um, in uh, sort of brown and white uh, colors are uh, Mickey Mantle, Cap Anson, Jackie Robinson, and Ty. And they just at that level, I mean, just really uh, gorgeous cards. Uh, uh, Chief Bender, Dan Brothers, uh, Sonny Jim Bottomley, John Clarkson, uh, again, another Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Connie Mack, um, Sam Crawford, Dizzy Dean, Buck Ewing, uh, Burley Grimes, Roy Campanella, Ted Williams, uh, Harry Chadwick, and Babe Ruth. And uh, moving along, Eddie Collins, uh, Jimmy Collins. Uh, Charles Comiskey, Warren Spahn, Lefty Grove, uh, Satchel Page, uh, sorry, Satchel Page, George Sisler, Walter Johnson, Joe Tinker, Robin Roberts, Cy Young, uh, Kennesaw, Mountain Landis, Christy Mathewson, Bill McKechnie, Rube Marquard, Stan Musial, Eddie Matthews, Willie Mays, Mel Ott, Dazzy Vance, Paul Wehner, um, Hannes Wagner, John Montgomery Ward, um, George Wright, uh, William Henry Wright, uh, Chick Hafey, all, all Hall of Famers, Rogers Hornsby, Carl Hubble, Miller Huggins, Tim Keefe, King Kelly, Larry Lajewy, Fred Limston, Lindstrom, Al Simmons, Al Spaulding, uh, Iron Man Joe McGinnity, Ed Roush, Casey Stengel, Tris Speaker, Bill Terry, Rube Waddell, Mordecai Brown, uh, Frank Chance, Candy Cummings, Frankie Frisch, Gabby Hartnett, Billy Herman, Wait Hoyt, Heine Manouche, Goose Goslin, Ernie Banks, Luke Appling, Eddie Plank, John McGraw, uh, George, Grover Cleveland Alexander, and Epa Rixey. I mean, they're really, they're, first of all, the level of detail is spectacular and then the you know the cartoons have a um, uh, an effect also and then along with that the you know the pen and ink drawings uh, really well done so that was a good uh, uh, really a good thing uh, that I was able to pick up and along with that uh, I picked up some Christy Mathewson items, which I'm going to show you and uh, let you have a peek at, at some of that stuff. 
So uh, the first thing is a kind of a Christy Mathewson small card, a, a playing card, um, three of hearts, uh, a postcard of Christy Mathewson. So they're pretty neat. Uh, this is all part of a collection of Christy Mathewson items that I purchased as a lot. Here's uh, uh, obviously the Hall of Fame uh, Perez Steel card. Uh, and here's uh, 1960 baseball highlights commemorating the Giants winning 26 straight games. Uh, here's another uh, card with a stamp on it. Legends of Baseball, first day covered, July 6, 2000. And then uh, on the other side of this baseball highlights is a Hall of Fame plaque. Uh, here's a uh, just a printed uh, photograph of Christy Mathewson with some of his uh, statistics and another uh, 1960 highlight, baseball highlights. Uh, Mathewson pitches three World Series shutouts. Um, which I think took place in uh, 1905, maybe. Not 100% sure of that, but let me just read it real quickly here. Yes, 1905. So that's really a pretty neat. Uh, those, those baseball highlights are not very similar to the new card scoops. And then this is a, uh, uh, a card which, which has... Uh, uh, Christy Mathewson's pictures uh, on the front and then on the back uh, a list of uh, you know uh, wins and losses and so forth uh, along with this uh, 1936 election of the Baseball Hall of Fame so that's pretty cool and that's that's the Christy Mathewson lot and then the last thing uh, that I got was really a collection of postcards and uh, mainly um, uh, some uh, uh, reprint exhibit cards uh, with a couple of actual real exhibit cards or original exhibit cards. So here's a, an, an an orange uh, Hall of Fame plaque uh, of Mickey Mantle, along with a regular Hall of Fame plaque of Whitey Ford and Willie Mays, or not Willie Mays, Bill Dickey. Um, so sort of a reading and talking at the same time, which is further proof that I can't multitask. <laughs> So those are those Hall of Fame plaques. Then there's a couple of uh, panels of uh, uh, home plate heroes. There's uh, Wade Boggs and Ryan Sandberg and Don Mattingly and Mike Schmidt. So three for the Hall of Fame and uh, one uh, guy that certainly was on a Hall of Fame path uh, had he not uh, had his career shortened by uh, back trouble. So those are the uh, home plate heroes. Here are the two uh, original exhibit cards, Don Hoke and Ken Boyer. And um, one of the ways that you can tell is that the, the, the photos are generally crisper than the, on the reprints. And the backs of the cards are uh, kind of a dark color. 
And in this case, the one case, uh, uh, the, the uh, stats are on the back in, in red, which I believe indicates that uh, these are uh, 1962. Yeah, 1962. So the last stats are from the 61 season. So those are those exhibits are original, and then these are uh, reprints. So there's uh, Elston Howard, two of those, and Nellie Fox. Willie Mays, there's two of those. Here's Warren Spawn. And again, the backs are white, and that's pretty much a dead giveaway that these are reprints. And if we had the originals here to compare them to, you'd see that the, they're cropped a bit differently, a little bit out of focus, uh, probably as part of the en enlarging process. Here's a reprint of um, one of the salutation exhibits of Ted Williams. And there's a Stan Musial, Whitey Ford. And Hank Aaron, again, all all reprints. It's pretty. They're pretty nice. I mean, they're they're neat to have, and uh, that's one of the reasons why this wasn't very expensive. Then there's some postcards. You can see on the back there's a, a postcard. Uh, use there and uh, that's a uh, Yankee uh, Dan uh, Bullweg uh, here's some Pittsburgh Pirates not uh, certainly not uh, uh, Hall of Famers or uh, household names but you know I collect pirate stuff, so that's uh, that's good. This is a, a postcard of Babe Adams, who was a pirate uh, pitcher back in the uh, 20s. That's Paul Pettit. And here's another uh, reprint exhibit card of Pee Wee Reese. So that makes up the uh, items in the basement collection that I uh, won. And I'm happy to have those as a part of my collection. And uh, I've got some other pickups to show, uh, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So uh, this is Rocket Rick J18, uh, wishing that all your collecting dreams come true.